okay guys welcome to my channel as you know in this channel we give you the very best of christian drama and music okay uh let's watch this video and find out how victoria orenzi actually proclaimed her love in tears before the people just watch and find out yourself thank you very much thank you um thank you for having me thank you very much and thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You see, truth cannot be sugar-coated. It can't be. These lies we sugarcoat so that we can make it look like truth. Truth is so simple, yet so powerful. It's so simple, yet so powerful. Everything is said is so true. To a generation who just wants them and not Jesus. Where we just want to live for ourselves and not Jesus. Where we do ministries for ourselves and not Jesus. Music ministry is about superstars and not Jesus. And they thrive because we encourage them. They thrive because we encourage them. That's what we want to hear. Itchy ears. What is new? What is selling? What is reigning? And it's not about that. It can never be about that. It is all about Jesus. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. God bless you, sir. I'm happy to meet you. You know I love Reverend Victor so much. I love him. Because there's no drama. But there is Jesus. And Jesus brings all the drama there is. I love him from the depth of my heart. And I love his wife. This is the first time I'm meeting her. This is at home. And I found somebody else I love. I don't have itchy ears, so I don't listen to a lot of people. I'm careful. It's important to be careful. It's important to shut your ears than just listen to anything. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What you allow into your heart, you don't know how it affects everything you do. So I'm careful. Call me funny, it's okay. I just listen to those. The Lord leads me to hear. Because he knows what I need. When I need it. So I have found you, sir. Not after the flesh. We can't do things after the flesh. Did you hear Genesis 22? Not after the flesh. It is after the spirit. You might think I'm talking. We are worshiping. Because worship is understanding. is not songs. Worship is revelation. It is not songs. If you want to hear songs, don't call me. But if you want to love Jesus, then call. Because it would be a shame if we leave here, we don't remember those words. It would be a shame. 
And you might say, I don't have decorum. I should cry small. I don't care. I don't care. There's no secret with Jesus. There's no pretending with Jesus. I can be real with him. And I'm at peace with the world. We will read a scripture. Matthew 15. 32. Can we read together? It says, and Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. So he fed them what first? The word. Three days. They tarried with him. Then when they were full with the word, he had compassion on them. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? It's not about giving people what they want and giving them money and clothes is good. But when you don't give them the word they need to live, they will never appreciate the money you give because it will finish. Everything else will finish. It is the word of God that will remain. So in case you didn't hear him well, we are not against feeding people. We are not against blessing people. We are not against giving. But you give them first what is important. Like your master, Jesus Christ. He's the one we follow. So don't do gimmicks to bring people to church with food. Let's do what they will like so they come. Let's include refreshment so they'll be comfortable. And then you have people who are not ready all in church. Because you want to do church your way. You can't do Christ your way. You must do him his way. The means is important to him than the end. Stop trying to gather people at the end and say people came. How did they come? Why did they come? Because that's what we keep them. Pastor, please organize conferences for people to hear the truth. They are lost. I'm tired of going to churches who just like you because you have a raining song. Who can discern Christ in you? Who invite artists because they have a reigning song? Not because the Lord wants them on their pulpit. Let people hear the truth. Many will go. That's what he said. There will be that separation. There will be that scattering. The Lord said it and he has confirmed it in the mouth of his son. Many will go, but they will come back to what is true. Did you hear his life? 
there is no way you taste and encounter Jesus truly. Wherever you go, you will come back. And the reason is because you will never taste anything as good as him. So it is okay to go. Go and try. If you are one of those people that like to go and try things, go and try. But I can assure you, you will never find anything close to Jesus Christ. So you are free to go. Nobody is trying to keep you in church. Nobody is trying to keep you in church for the wrong reasons. For the wrong reasons. Go. Go like the prodigal son. Go and taste. When you're done, you will see that there is nothing. No one compares to him. And you will come back. And that is why we have to let people encounter Jesus and not us. Because when they do, we are not afraid to keep them. We don't do gimmicks to keep them. They stay because they met Jesus. I always say to people, there is no worship without the word of God. Stop singing in the name of worship. If you don't have the word, you're just singing. And like he said, it's good. Entertainment, enjoy yourself. But if you will worship the king, it's not what you think. So I won't put words in your mouth. Many of you are repenting. When it calls for so, you didn't come out. But you realized how far you have gone. But yet you didn't come out. Because maybe you think they will say you've been in church for long. But it's Jesus you are dealing with, not man. So find your words. And if the, after all this, what you want to do is look at me. Look at me. But if you heard anything, and anything shifted in your heart, find your word your corner with Jesus and just talk to him for real for some of you it will be the first time you're truly being true with Jesus so find your corner if he helps you to kneel down if your seat is not comfortable look for a corner I say to you, if it helps you to close your eyes, close it. But just find your words to your maker. Be real with him for once in your life. And when you find your words, say it to him how it comes to you. If kind comes to you, say it that Lord you are kind. Lord, you are faithful. I just realized again how loving you are. I just realized again how kind you are. I just realized again how amazing you are. So tell him. One thing that I love about this woman is because she's always so real so so real so thank you guys for watching and i believe that you've been able to learn one or two things from victoria orenze okay so please don't forget to like don't forget to share comment and also uh, subscribe to our youtube channel we'll bring you more interesting videos and more updates god bless you and thank you so much